Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to align your daily tasks inside of MEM with your long-term priorities and goals using a concept called objectives and key results. If you want to learn how to take better book notes, get more out of the books that you read, the articles you read, the lectures you attend, conversations you have, take better notes uh, in class and on the job, and become a lifelong learner, be sure to check out our free course on how to take better book notes. I'll include a link in the description below. One of the best ways to align your daily tasks with long-term goals, priorities, and projects inside of MEM is to use a goal-setting method known as objectives and key results. And OKRs have been instrumental to the success of companies like Google, Intel, and many others. And if you want to learn more about OKRs and do a real deep dive, be sure to check out the book Measure What Matters by the venture capitalist John Doerr. I'll be sure to include a link below in the description. So. The first thing you have to understand is the difference between objectives and key results. So an objective is the ultimate goal you're trying to accomplish. It's something aspirational. It's usually qualitative. So uh, that's what makes it different. It's like a, a mission. And then your key results are the targets that you want to hit to reach that objective. So they're specific, they're measurable and time bound. So the way to think of it is that you know your objectives are mission driven and your key results are, are metrics driven. So for example, let's say that you make educational software and your objective is to build a program to help students discover their purpose before they graduate from college. There's no way to, to measure that, but one of your key results could be to launch your program at one university for 10 students by the end of Q1. So that makes, so why use objectives and key results versus any other goal setting system? One of the things that I see over and over again, when I talk to people who don't make progress with the ideas they're working on is that they're unclear. They don't know what to do, or they just end up working on the wrong things and throw spaghetti against the wall um, because they have a vague goal in mind. But when you have this very clear target in mind, it actually helps you to really focus and it makes it so much easier to align your daily priorities with your goals. What are the steps to doing this inside of MEM? There's three main steps to doing this inside of MEM. And I'll actually show you an example here in just a second. The first is to create one MEM, what I call the master MEM, with your three to five objectives for the quarter. And then under each objective, you're going to add a series of key results and bi-directional links for that supporting key result. And then the key result is going to be where all your tasks end up living. So this is actually our uh, Q1 objectives and key results plan for the unmistakable creative. And you can see here, I have a bunch of different key results. But if you look here, the objectives, for example, are aspirational. You can't really measure them. They're more mission driven. So let's look at one in particular, this one right here, create content and develop courses that leads to a tangible transformation in the lives of readers and students. Now, you can see here that published 12 blog posts on the unmistakable creative blog by the end of Q1 is measurable. It's time bound. And now whenever I'm thinking about this one key result, I know exactly what I need to do, I need to spend some portion of my time every single day writing articles for this blog or every single week writing articles. But <clears throat> let's look at one that's better here, which is maximize your output with MEM, which is my MEM course. So you can see here, I have a goal of 25 sales of maximize your output per month by the end of Q1. You can see here that one of the activities to support this goal is the video that I'm creating right now. And you can see here I have a couple of other things. I have this task to create a guide to organizing information inside of MEM as a way to generate leads. So what ends up happening is that your key results actually start to become a filter that make it really clear what your daily tasks and daily action steps should be. And so there's no question as to how you should be spending your time. Not only that, when you go here, you'll see that your tasks that are aligned to the key result actually show up in your daily tasks. So one other thing you probably noticed is I actually tag all of the key results with the tag key result and then the tag Q1 2022. So that way I can basically see what are the other key results that I'm trying to work on. You can see here, double tra traffic to my unmistakable creative website. And as a part of that, I'm doing some SEO updates. So what ends up happening is it just becomes a really great filter for how to spend your time and really prioritize what is important so that you can align your tasks and your daily activities with your long-term priorities, projects, and goals. So just to recap, there are three main steps to using OKRs inside of MEM. The first is to create this master MEM with three to five objectives. And then under each objective, you're going to put a key result in, add a bi-directional link to that key result, for, uh, and then put all of the relevant tasks into the key result mem and tag the mem with key result and whatever quarter it is but if you have any questions as always uh, feel free to leave comments in the description below and 
as I said, this is actually probably one of the most effective ways to plan your tasks and organize your projects inside of MEM that I have you know, developed in this entire time I've been using MEM. If you want to learn more about how to organize information in MEM, take better book notes, and make the most out of your MEM database, be sure to check out our course, Maximize Your Output, at MaximizeYourOutput.com.